All right, here we go. Next problem, number 16 in our college algebra, homework number five in my lab math. They want us to solve, and here we have a rational inequality. We know it's rational because we have a fraction with a variable in the denominator and the inequality symbol, so I've got that written down up here. Let's get started. You need to know that in a rational inequality, both the numerator and denominator will produce critical points as long as the numerator and the denominator both have a variable. So I notice the numerator does not have a variable, so we're not going to get a critical point from the numerator, but we will get a critical point from the denominator. So we need to take the 5x plus 2, set it equal to 0, and solve for x to get the critical point. The plus 2 comes over, makes a minus 2. Divide both sides by 5. And we're going to get x equals negative 2 fifths. And then we're going to take that to the number line. We're going to put that on the number line. And then, uh, are you listening? What I'm about to say is important. Any critical point that comes from the denominator has to be an open circle because critical points from the denominator can never be included in the solution. And here's why. If we allowed those values, then plugging that in would make the denominator zero, which is not allowed. You would then have division by zero, which is undefined. So any critical point that comes from the denominator has to be excluded. It's going to be an open circle. And then I'm going to need a test point on either side of negative two-fifths to see whether we get a true or a false. So a number less than negative two-fifths, I don't know, might be negative one. And a number bigger than negative two-fifths is zero. And again, you can pick anything you want as long as it's neg uh, less than negative two-fifths and then as long as it's bigger than negative two-fifths. So we're going to take those test points, plug them back into our inequality, and see if we get a true or a false statement. Here we go. Starting with negative 1, that's going to be negative 7 over 5 times negative 1 plus 2 less than zero. Do you see what I did there? I plugged negative one in for x into the inequality and now let's work this out. Negative seven over negative five plus two is negative three. A negative over a negative makes a positive. Is a positive number less than zero? No, that is false. And so this will give us a false, which means we're not going to shade this side of the number line. And now let's check zero. Okay, doing it down here. That's going to be negative 7 over 5 times zero plus 2. We want to know, is that less than zero? So that's going to be negative 7 over, that's going to be zero plus 2, which is 2 negative 7 divided by 2, that's going to be a negative number, which is definitely less than 0. So that will be true, which means we're going to shade that side of the number line. And now that means that we can write our uh, solution set in interval notation. Moving from left to right, we can see that the shading starts at negative 2 fifths. Remember, we use a parenthesis because we have an open circle, and the shading will go forever all the way to positive infinity. So there's our answer in interval notation. Let's see if it works. Negative 2 fifths to infinity and beyond. All right, so I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.